Three Acadiana teens are thankful they're alive tonight after their boat capsized in the Vermilion Bay. They're now back home and safe with their families after a terrifying morning. I spoke with one of the rescuers who saved the three boys from their sinking boat. It's always a great one. You get a call to go pick up three and you bring three back. It's, it's, it's a win for everybody. It was 6 a.m. Friday morning when Sergeant Justin Sonier with the Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries got the call. Three teen boys were stranded in the water in Vermilion Bay. Their boat capsized while they were on their way to duck hunt. You don't realize how rough it is sometimes till the sun comes up. Uh, they realized it was rough, but it was too late for them. They tried turning around. Unfortunately, uh, the, the, the boat just flooded too quickly and they couldn't get back to where they wanted to safely, and the boat flooded and sank. Though the boys' phones were too wet to dial 911, they used the emergency SOS function by holding the button on the side of their phone. Sonia and a deputy with the Vermilion Parish Sheriff's Office rushed to help. And we located them on top of their sunken vessel, and the vessel was capsized. And the three juveniles were on top of the vessel, you know, waiting, you know, for our arrival. I know they were happy to see us, and they were happy to get off the top of that boat. Sonia says they reached the stranded teens in about 45 minutes. Luckily, they were able to hang on. To arrive there and know that there was three people that needed help and we could see all three people standing on top of the boat or laying on the boat, that's always a plus. Unfortunately, the boat still sunk out there. They lost their hunting equipment, their shotguns, stuff like that. And like we told them, man, we've been doing this a long time. Don't worry about those things. You're back safe. We got TMT personnel. They were dried off. Vitals were checked. Everything was great. Um, they were released to their families and it was like, that's a good day. It's always a good day when it's like that because uh, we've seen uh, days where it hadn't been as fortunate. Sonia says he recommends everyone have a float plan when going out on the water. That means telling someone where you're going and what route you're taking. He says that will give search teams a starting place to look if something happens.